If you guys are in need of some coins to get that player or team you've always wanted, make sure to check out Mutt Store and use code TD for 10% off. Yo guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of the Super Squad. Now we're starting a brand new season. We are coming off a pretty disappointing playoff loss. Now that the whole Super Bowl streak is over, I'm thinking from this point on, instead of just getting like the absolute best players at every position, I'm gonna start focusing on you know getting players I wanna use. And then also focusing on players you guys would wanna see that a lot of YouTubers aren't using. To give you guys an example, our new left end is 89 overall Trey Flowers. Quite the downgrade from before if you're looking at like the overall aspect, but it's just someone I wanna use. I feel like this is definitely gonna help me enjoy Mutt more. Another example I'm gonna give you guys is if you look at wide receiver number two, I picked up 90 overall Adam Thielen. Now when this card came out, I was like, oh sweet, Thielen got a new card, I wanna use him. But I was so focused on this team being a super squad and us having like that Super Bowl streak going that he wasn't better than any of my current wide receivers. So I didn't feel he had a spot on the team. So there's definitely a lot of new faces. Not really sure where to start. Why not the quarterback? We got limited time RG3 at running back. I am gonna go back to using David Johnson. We only used him for about three games. Then we got Barry Sanders. I thought he was gonna get a new team of the week, so I was going to pick him up, but I kind of feel like he got gypped. I don't know, maybe he'll get something else. We are keeping Julio Jones in the slot, Larry Fitzgerald. I've said it several times, one of my favorite receivers of all time. You guys just saw Thielen, we got Tyree Kill. And then over at tight end, we did replace Tony Gonzalez. I would recommend that card to anybody. Best tight end by far, but like I said, going forward, we're kind of changing that up. So I got Delaney Walker, also got the Thanksgiving, the Madden Harvest, Hunter Henry. And then as we go back to defense, we got all new linebackers, Thomas Davis, Derek Morgan, Luke Keekley came from Boston College. I'm a Boston sports fan. Behind him, we got Mike Singletary, I think you guys get the gist of where this is going. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop into a game. I did play a game offline, went pretty well. And of course, I do wanna thank you guys for all the support. We're on a little bit of an upload streak right now, so if you guys could keep hitting 7,000 likes, I'll keep bringing out the gameplays. That's going straight out of bounds. Good field position to start. I'm definitely excited to play with this team. I feel like before I was so concerned with winning that I was having a lot less fun. Let's see what he does here. Okay, he's bringing a blitz. We're just gonna hit Delaney Walker underneath. Delaney Walker, this might be a one play touchdown. Keep going, inside the 10, finally down at the five. Now I had to catch myself for a second. I was about to say Tony Gonzalez. Okay, he's definitely bringing some pressure. There we go, gotta wait for it. Back at the end zone, Thielen, that's a drop touchdown. You guys have been telling me to stop using aggressive catch and just go with possession catch. So that's what I did there. Uh, it still didn't really work. Okay, looks like we're gonna run with RG3. We run it. We run it. RG3, get in the end zone. Touchdown. I know I called a pass play there, but I had no intention of passing. That was all RG3. I say this pretty much every single game, but you guys see the formation he's in. We know what's coming. Halfback wham. I'm definitely just gonna start loading the box. Like if this guy wants to beat me over the top, so be it. Like if I if I'm gonna give up a one play touchdown. That's fine, but we aren't just gonna let guys just run all over us like that's what's been happening. Okay, he's going to play action. He, uh, there we go. Watch right there, watch right there. Bring some pressure. I'm there, I'm there. He, oh, that was a good, oh no. And the spin move, this looks all too familiar. As crazy as it sounds, I'd rather have that than this guy just running halfback wham all game. Okay, he's, uh, he's going back to the run. That's David Johnson. I'm fine with bending as long as we don't break. Okay, he's, uh, play action. There we go, got that covered. Nowhere to go. Cunningham running for his life. That's a sack by J.J. Watt. Oh, we actually have Crawley on the field. He's only at 85 overall corner, but looking at his stats, he looks pretty good. He's going to play action. Just got to watch the middle. Oh, bring some pressure. Bring some pressure. Another sack. That's what we need to do. We can bend. We gave up one big play. We'll stop it next time. We hold him to a field goal. That's a win in my book. Since that first drive was so quick, we didn't really get to see a lot out of this guy. It looks like he's going to bring pressure. We're just going to run the ball. David Johnson... It looks like we're gonna have to pass a lot this game. This is gonna be a bit of a test because we're gonna have to see if RG3 can be a pocket passer. Again, that blitz is coming, just gotta wait for it. There we go, right across the middle. That's Julio Jones. Julio, pass midfield. I like what I'm seeing so far. This is normally where I would turn the ball over, so we can't do that. Okay, we are just gonna go ahead. We're gonna hit Delaney. What a pass by RG3. Yo, let's pick up the pace. Hopefully he's worried about the pass because we're gonna run with David Johnson. Johnson, keep going, baby. In the red zone, I said we go back to Thielen here. Let's see if he's ready for it. And there we go, we're gonna high point it. RG3 is putting passes on the money. That's a touchdown for Thielen. I'm feeling good. If we can get a stop on this drive, I'm gonna be feeling great. He's gonna continue to pass the football. Gotta watch the drag, get there, get there. Okay, I'm gonna bring some pressure. Oh, we hit him at the last second. This could be a pick. 
Great play by Harrison to knock it away. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if he runs here, but I don't think he's going to, so I'm going to put Donald in a spy. I'm going to be using Keekly. Okay, he's passing. There we go. Got the middle covered. Oh, Donald. Donald, bring some pressure. Bring some pressure. He's going right there. Interception, Luke Keekly. You could argue we made the team worse, but we're playing amazing right now. Oh, look at this. We got Thielen wide open. RG3, get it there. Thielen, touchdown again. That's going to end up being it for him. If you look in the bottom right, RG3, 156 passing yards, two touchdowns. He also had a rushing touchdown, so he was responsible for all three of our scores. We haven't even ran a play in this game yet, and I'm already a little bit worried. You guys say it in the comment section all the time. For whatever reason, if you use a PlayStation 4, there is terrible input lag on this game. Okay, I'm not sure who he has a quarterback. Looks like Dan Marino. I didn't actually get to see my opponent's lineup. Looks like he's got Marino, LT, Todd Gurley. Uh, I saw Ingram at tight end. He's got a huge run with Todd Gurley. Uh, that's not a good look. I like what this guy's doing. His two best players are running backs. Looks like we're going to see both of them. Another run by Gurley. But Xavier Rhodes. Rhodes closed. Back him up five more yards. He got a false start penalty. Okay, got to watch the middle. Keekly, get there. Keekly's a little slow. Going underneath. Oh, he's going across the field. Xavier Rhodes. Back-to-back -back plays. Keep running, Rhodes. This is going to be a pick six. And he's going to quit before I can get in the end zone. That's... Two games in a row. That is gonna be it for today's video. Unfortunately, I feel like this one's gonna be kinda short. I'd love to get into a third game, but the problem is I gotta be somewhere in like an hour. And knowing my luck, the third game would take an hour. Let me know in the comments below if there's any players you guys wanna see me pick up. Like I said, I'm definitely trying to uh, branch out and pick up you know, more unique players, players you wouldn't normally see. I did see there is a team of the week, Eric Weddle. He's got 85 speed, but when we use the Corley Eric Weddle who had 80 speed, he was so good for us. The only thing holding me back from buying that card right now is I just picked up Rodney Harrison and he played well for us in those first two games. So it's like, how could I get rid of him? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace out.